it was about to be one of the best times of our life. Our little son Oliver was about to finish play school, he was about to go into full-time school. That meant Gemma could finally get a job and we could start actually having a decent life because ever since Lily was born Gemma had become a full-time mum and all our lives were literally about to start and it just all got snuffed out on the night. Well, I've been working at m and for coming up to 11 years and I've been riding to work, doing it in the wind, the rain, the traffic, any sort of condition you could think of. I just thought, our well, lives are about to get easier now. It's literally just supposed to be a luxury item just to make all our lives easier. If I'd known that it would, could, could cause this, I never would have bought it. We were woken in the night by an almighty bang. The floor shaked, the house echoed. By the time I got out my, outside my bedroom, I could see the glow of the fire. There was flames coming up the stairs like a flamethrower. I've never seen anything like it. I was t terrified for my children. I knew something had to be done, so I jumped out the window. I told Gemma, I'll be back in a minute. I basically got into the back door and the entire hallway was engulfed in flames and I could just see this massive, massive glow just right above my bike. Everything was on fire. So I ran out back out to the back garden and started calling for Gemma and the kids to jump. The last thing I ever heard from my girlfriend was, we can't get out, we're stuck. I called for her about two more times, but I never got an answer from her again. At that point, I collapsed on the floor in tears. I closed my eyes after that, and I woke up four weeks later in hospital. I'd been in a coma for four weeks. And no one had made it out of the house. And now I've got to live with this fact that, do they know that I helped? Or was the last memory of me, where the hell is dad? My son was found in his bedroom. My girlfriend was found in the doorway of my bedroom. And my daughter was found under the bed with my dogs. But I can guarantee you that in the next couple of years, everyone will know someone who had an accident with an e-bike concerned in a fire. And we are trusting the government that they are safe, but they are not. They need to be regulated, they need to be checked change the rules to save someone's life. My life has been ruined, but I can save someone else's.